In Lesson 1.4, students look at pictures of little cartoon characters in the wind and talk about what they've experienced in the wind also. Then the question becomes, what is wind anyway? After investigating that question, students come to an understanding that wind is air that's moving, and air is made out of little particles called molecules, and that when things move in the wind, it's because those little particles are actually hitting the things that are moving. Let's take a look. So students first watch a video of wind moving a tree and moving water. You can have a discussion with students about any time they've been out in the wind, what it's been like. And that brings up the question, what is wind? So students can cut strips of construction paper. If they blow on it gently a couple of times, they see it move. And then they blow on it hard like it's actually a very windy day. So what's happening there is the question. You can help answer that question by showing an animation about what wind is and why things move in the wind. So to have wind, you have to have air. And what is air? Air is made up of these tiny little particles we call molecules. So when the wind blows, it's actually those little particles that hit into things and make them move. And the reason why wind happens at all is because warm air and cooler air meet. And when the warm air moves up, the cool air moves in to replace it. And that's what we feel is wind, that moving cool air. You can show students a little bird that flies easily if it's flying in the direction of the wind, but that it's very hard to fly against the wind. But you can click here to change the direction of the wind so that the bird can more easily get back to the nest. There's lots of examples of wind making things move. It makes a pinwheel move, makes your hat fly off. But the point is that it's the tiny particles in the air, the molecules that are hitting into things and making them move. So in the extend part of the lesson, students can create buildings that they can try to see what effect the wind has on the buildings. And they're pretty easy to make. You just uh, fold a piece of paper in half and then bring the edges to the center so that it basically has four sides. And then you put a little piece of tape down to hold it together. You're going to end up with a sort of a rectangular tall building. And what students will do is they're going to set this building up. They're going to take a magazine and use it to create wind and see the effect it has on their building. Then students will take pennies and tape them to the bottom of the building and then use the magazine again and they'll see that a building that's heavy at the bottom is much harder to move or to knock over. For NGSS standard KESS21, use and share observations of local weather conditions to describe patterns over time, this lesson supports the standard because students investigate a local weather condition, wind. Students try to understand what wind is, what's the cause of wind, and how it affects the things around us. For the foundation boxes, science and engineering practices, planning and carrying out investigations. Well, in this case, students do some very basic investigating. They blow on strips of paper to see the effect that sort of a model of wind has. They use a magazine and create wind in the classroom to see what effect it has on a structure. And then they use what they've learned in the animations to make a connection between that moving air, the moving particles are hitting the object and either making it move in the case of the strip of paper or knocking down the building. For disciplinary core ideas, that weather is a combination of sunlight, wind, snow, or rain, and temperature in a particular region at a particular time, this is just a close-up look at wind. And for cross-cutting concepts, cause and effect, well, students see that wind has a cause, that when warm air moves up and cool air replaces it, that is a cause of wind, and that the moving particles in wind have an effect of moving objects and causing things to happen. So thanks for listening and watching, and good luck with the lesson.